Let's look at final exam question number nine in Electricity Demystified, second edition. Please see page 322. We're talking about a voltage doubler power supply, and this is a schematic diagram of a basic voltage doubler power supply. The AC input, a step-up transformer, a couple of diodes, a couple of current limiting resistors, and a couple of large value electrolytic capacitors which serve the purpose of filtering the output to get pure DC more or less and also to cause the voltage to be doubled by creating two charges in series. That's how this kind of a thing gets double the voltage output. But that comes at a price and that price is relatively poor voltage regulation. If we try to draw a lot of current from a supply like this we're going to get poor voltage regulation and we're also going to get much less effective filtering so we'll see more ripple at the output. So the correct choice here is E. Let's look at the other uh, choices. Choice A, poor linearity, has nothing to do with this. Complete lack of ripple, well no, no supply has a complete lack of ripple, but if we draw a large variable current, as this question is telling us about the circuit connected here, draws a lot of current and it varies, we're going to have quite a lot of ripple. Unusual sensitivity to transients? No more than any other type of unprotected power supply would be. Lack of forward breakover? That's, that's a, a nonsensical expression. It doesn't have a... Of course these diodes are going to exhibit forward breakover characteristics as all diodes do. So choices A, B, C, and D are all wrong. But choice E is right. It's not going to be able to regulate the voltage very well if we have something connected to it that draws a lot of current and draws a variable amount of current.